What's up guys, Amanda Ray here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be awesome because we're gonna be adding to our CD7 Carbon Dash for the Evo 8. Today we are gonna be adding the VDM, which is an add-on feature that you guys can add to your dash. This is what it looks like right here, the vehicle dynamics module. Um, essentially this is GPS. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install it and then we'll show you what it's gonna look like. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, so in order to install the VDM, it has to be facing forward just like this. It tells you right there front. Um, so it has to be facing forward, so we have it zip tied to itself right there so the wire can just go around. Um, and it has to be placed in the center of the car. So we're gonna place it in the console area right around here, I think, and snake it through to where it needs to go down in here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take off the center console now so we can get it started. All right, so now that we got that off, we gotta figure out where we want to put the VDM. All right, guys, so obviously you have to make sure that this area is completely clean for the sticker Velcro to actually adhere properly. So we're just cleaning the area, making sure it's enough space for the Velcro. All right, and now we're just placing one piece of the Velcro so we can attach the VDM right here. All right, guys, that's not coming off because uh, that's some sticky Velcro. That's side one. Now we're gonna put the other side on the VDM. like that and now we gotta place it so let's figure out how we want to do this this is the easy part right just like that the VDM is there um, should be pretty good so now we're gonna snake this through to the ECU all right, so we've got the VDM wired through the center console and up through here, and it's literally just sitting right here. So it's kind of hard to see, but this is the two plugs that we just did. So we basically unplugged the dash, plugged it into the VDM, and then plugged the ECU into the VDM. So now that the VDM is completely installed, Everything is good, and once we put everything back up, we'll be good. And we did label everything nice and neatly here, so that's kind of cool. So now that the VDM is plugged in here, we should be able to turn the car on after we do the antenna. So let's go show you where we want to mount the antenna for the VDM. Alright guys, now that we have the... VDM installed on the inside, we have to make sure we have the antenna done on the outside. So the antenna does have to go on the outside of the car and the center of the car as well. So this is where we have it located right here. I'm gonna show you without trying to shut the trunk all the way. So this is the antenna right here. It's magnetic, so it's super cool. So we just have it sitting right there on the trunk. And then Underneath, we have it snaked through these holes, we zip tied it to this, and we snaked it 
behind there. So now it's going through perfectly and I'll show you the other side right now. And then we've got the wire coming out through the bottom there and we're gonna snake it under the carpet, hopefully right into the VDM. So this is us attempting to try and snake it through the carpet. Let's see if it works. We're gonna zip tie it to this little red thing that we have our magnet poking through and hopefully able to pull it through just so we can make things as clean as possible. All right, you ready? Just go slow. Wait. Okay. Got it. Beautiful. All right, and then we just have this going right into the VDM. All right, and right there, guys, the green light means that it has signal and it is good to go. We're going to go ahead and start the car now. The green light on right there on the VDM should essentially match the green antenna that you see um, on the CD7 dash. I'll zoom in. It's right there on the right hand side. You guys can see it. Um, right where the boost is at the negative 20. That should be green. That means it's getting signal. It has good antenna signal. Everything is good to go. So the VDM is installed. It is Good to go. Now there is some minor things you have to do to get it to link to your draggy and whatnot. Um, and you can do lap times, all of that cool stuff. All right guys, so with the Evo, now that we have the VDM on, we don't have the wheels on or anything so we can't drive the car. Once we get the wheels on, we just have to change the alternator. Apparently that decided to go bad. So we're gonna do that today get the wheels on. Once we start driving it around, we'll show you how to link the VDM with the Draggy and do all of that for lap time, GPS, all of that cool stuff. Stay tuned for my next video and I will see you guys next time. Uh -huh.